Good morning, BookTube. Bill Rutenberg here with the Rutenberg Library. Wanted to bring a book tag to you this morning. Um, I got tagged a couple weeks ago by the Bookish Bryants. Uh, they had created an original tag called the Anniversary Book Tag. And the whole idea of it was, you know, book questions based around their anniversary. And I um, thought it was perfect for me. Our, my wife and I's anniversary is coming up in a couple weeks. And um, we've been married for 19 years, 19 awesome, loving, wonderful years. And we've had a couple kids out of our um, marriage, and we love both of them uh, tremendously. And it's just been, it's been a really good time with my wife these last 19 years. It, it only gets, our relationship only gets stronger with age, I think, kind of like a fine wine, I think. Um, I wanted to do this book tag for you. I'll leave the link to it. Uh, to the bookish Bryants down below and thank you guys for your creativity in creating this so question number one name a book your significant other or friend suggested that you would love um, so my wife and my oldest daughter for that for for that fact um, they recommended the glass castle by Jeanette walls and I absolutely love that book I thought it was a good book about a about a lady who in her childhood goes through quite a bit with her parents and um, probably probably should have been put into into a foster home and stuff but she ends up living through quite quite a few interesting life experiences and um, I, I was in foster homes when I was a kid so I kind of related to a lot of the stuff she's talking about and uh, my wife answered the book North and South I suggested she'd read that and um, I'm, I'm a big John Jakes fan, and I thought maybe she'd like that. She liked the movies. We bought the, uh, the TV, made-for-TV movies, and um, she liked that. So I, I thought maybe she'd like it. And so that was what she answered. And my wife is very camera shy, by the way, if I didn't say that before. I forgot. Uh, she, I thought I was going to get her on camera, and I just don't think it's going to happen. So that's why I'm doing, going ahead and doing the tag. Um, she she's very camera shy so here we go question number two name your favorite romantic relationship in a book I was thinking about books that uh, I read in recent years and the one that comes to mind is a time traveler's wife I thought that was a pretty unique relationship definitely true love to be able to stick stick with each other through all of the time warping that the husband goes through and you know it's true love when you haven't seen somebody for a long, long period of time, and when they show up, you can start your conversation like it was yesterday. And I just think that's that's a unique relationship in that book. I also like the relationship that John uh, uh, Nicholas Sparks puts together in his books, Dear John and The Notebook. I thoroughly enjoyed those. Uh, and my wife, she answered the Phantom of the Opera. Uh, and the Phantom and Christine, that relationship. She she loves that book, and so is my daughter. And uh, they they really like that relationship that was put together. And she also answered, same as me, with, with the notebook, Noah and Allie. Uh, we both really like that relationship. All right, so number three. Name a book that you would recommend to someone trying to get to know you better. So... For me, I chose For Love of the Game by um, Michael Shahara, and uh, I just love that book. It, I really like the movie, too. I actually, you know, I guess I probably should say that. I, I watched the movie before I watched the book, or, or before I even knew it was a book, and um, I loved the movie. I'm a big Kevin Costner fan. I like Kevin Costner, uh, but it, I thought he did an excellent job in that. And then in the book, you know, it it goes they go really well together there wasn't a whole lot of like differences between the two and so in the book it's all about a, a guy that's at the end of his baseball career and he's in his very last ball game he's he's been offered to be traded to another team but he spent his whole career with this with uh, with the one team and the big question is does he stay with that that team and retire or does he go ahead and get traded and then try to extend his career and you know for love of the game he he's throwing a perfect game which is a pitcher's greatest dream is to throw a perfect game and so um 
he's got this love of baseball, but then he also has, in, especially in the twilight of his, in his twilight years in his career, he has a love of a woman. And um, the love of the woman is very, very strong in this book, pulling him away from trying to extend that baseball life. So my wife answered, let's see here, The Little Book of Huga uh, and uh, Little Women. Uh, my, my wife likes the, the Huga stuff, and I can't even describe it. I, it's not my thing, but uh, she, she, she put those two books as books that would get to know her better. So number four. What is a book you keep coming back to year after year? And for me, um, mine is uh, Skipping Christmas by John Grisham. It's, I try to read it every December. Uh, it's just a really, it's a short, really short, but really fun Christmas book. It uh, goes through the um, story of the cranks and uh, the, the husband, his daughter's going off to college and won't be home for Christmas, and he wants to just not do Christmas. Save all the money, and they spend a lot of money, thousands of dollars on Christmas, and uh, save all that money and go on a vacation. And it's just funny because the daughter ends up wanting to come home with a new love of her life, and so then they have to put Christmas together all at the last minute, and everything's gone, and and it's just funny. Uh, I would highly recommend it to anybody. And um, my wife chose The Great Gatsby. She really loves that era, the 19, uh, 1920s era, the, the flappers and all of them. And she really likes that book. It's one of the first books that I bought for her because um, she... You know, I'm a book fan, but she she doesn't read a lot, and so she doesn't give me very many titles. And I was super excited one Christmas when she wanted that book for Christmas, so got it for her. Question number five. What is a book that gets better and better every time you read it? For me, it's John Steinbeck's Of Mice and Men. I That, that story, like, hits me right in the heart every time because... Uh, you know, just the friendship and love that those two guys have for each other, George and Lenny, and um, it's it's a true, true friendship uh, where one will do anything for the other. And um, if you've never read that book, you need to read it. It's set in, the, I believe, the 1930s in in the Depression, and um, they are two migrant workers. They go from farm to farm. Out, out west, they go from farm to farm working, and uh, they, you know they do all kinds of farm work, putting up hay, um, bringing in crops, whatever. And uh, one one guy, George, is a smart guy, and Lenny is a big and huge and strong, but he is uh, mentally handicapped, and it uh, that plays really big in the story where George is always taking care of Lenny and looking out for Lenny, and Lenny. Um, you know, is loyal to George, and it's just, it makes me want to cry every time I get to the end of the book. Uh, so, what's a book that gets better and better every time you read it? My wife, uh, she chose the Bible for this one, and uh, she she reads the Bible on a daily basis, and and we, we take our family to church and stuff, and so the Bible plays a big part in our lives. And so, moving on to question number six. What do you feel is the perfect book for an anniversary or a friend anniversary? And for me, with my wife, she's she's always uh, my wife's a wonderful cook. Um, she she's always willing to try out new recipes and stuff, and she watches the cooking channel and stuff. And so when she finds a, a favorite cook that she likes to follow, whether it's on TV or Instagram or uh, you know any of the different social media things. Uh, she wants to try out their cookbooks. And, of course, one of her uh, favorites that she's asked for that we that we bought her for Christmas was Molly A. She absolutely loves Molly A. She thinks she's pretty hilarious. And in her cookbook, um, with each recipe, there's a whole story that goes with the recipe. And it just it makes makes us laugh and laugh. But that's, that is what... Uh, 
the perfect book for an anniversary for my wife would be is it is the newest cookbook that she wants and it isn't uh, just because I like to eat <laughs> she she actually likes the cookbooks so um, for me or, or for my wife's answer it's the newest John Grisham book and she she knows um, so whenever there's a new Grisham book out she buys it for me and the last question on this anniversary book tag number seven what book could you receive as a gift that would prove the gifter is a keeper? And for me, um, I, I said any Abraham Lincoln book that I don't already have. And my wife knows this. And, um, you know, if she, if she can figure out which ones I don't have, she's definitely a keeper. And um, my wife chose, let's see, any lifestyle book referring to Huga and home decor because she likes to she's always moving furniture around and trying out different colors on the walls and different uh, slip covers for the couches and stuff like that she's big into trying to keep things nice and neat and tidy and um, so yeah that would be the answer to that one so book two this has been my anniversary book tag um, hope you've enjoyed it uh, to try this tag out this is fun if you've got especially if you have uh, a wife or a husband uh, that wants to get on camera with you. Uh, this would be a fun one to do with your significant other. So uh, if you haven't done this one, uh, I, I encourage you to try this one. And I tag anybody who hasn't, who's, who's got a significant other that could uh, help you out with this tag. So thank you for watching BookTube. Hope everyone has a great week. Uh, happy reading.